You know, problem solving is one of those important life skills that can't be taught. You kind of have to pick it up on your own. Like old Oscar here when he can't open the fridge. Our cat, Oscar, is a super sneak. Oh, cats. You know, today they're getting fish sticks out of the fridge. Tomorrow they'll be, oh, I don't know, butt f***ing all of us when they enslave humanity. But you gotta hand it to Oscar, though. He may not have the opposable thumbs needed to open a can of tuna, but he'll bust his ass trying to get his paws on a fish stick. And I'm curious, what part of the fish is the actual stick part? All fish dicks aside though, this has got all the elements of a successful viral video. You've got an adorable little girl, you've got a cat doing something f***ing weird. All you need now is a pair of boobs in the thumbnail. And then there are some people who use anger as a motivation to solve their problem. Like in this next video, which happens to be a news segment from Greece. So you can't see it here, but off camera, there are a dozen angry protesters who have broken into the studio and they're now getting ready to strike. Okay guys, so you might need a little context here. Now I was able to dig up this MSNBC article about this and you can't hear it in the video, but I guess the protesters were chanting something like, keep neo-Nazis off your show. While they pummel the anchor with nothing other than eggs and Greek yogurt. So I guess with the economy in Greece being bad and all, there's been a lot of racism towards immigrants, which historically is a common response when, when in an economic downturn, people just get really fucking racist all of a sudden. But just because it's common doesn't mean that it's okay. You know, I hope that the Euro at least kissed Greece on the mouth after it was done f***ing its financial system. <laughs> and really guys, are throwing eggs and yogurt at a news anchor the best way to fight neo-Nazis? I mean, cause really all you're doing is making it look like a skeet grenade went off in the studio. And how dare these people waste Greek yogurt? Greek yogurt is badass. It's tasty, it's high in protein, you can use it in a lot of different foods, plus it's creamy as f Okay, I'm sure I'm not the only one in the world who's ever had this problem. Have any of you guys ever had neighbors or roommates who have really, really loud, like, earth-shattering sex in the next room? I mean, you really don't want to listen to it, but you also kind of do. So anyway, this guy, 95 Camry for life, great username, he's going through this. Now he has found the perfect solution called the Thin Wall Challenge, and I'll let him explain it. My name is Ryan, and that sound you're hearing is my neighbors back there doing it, and they're doing it hard. And they normally do it a few times a week. Luckily, it only lasts a couple minutes. So I've decided to set up a series of challenges to see who lasts longer, me? Or him. So you got that? So this guy's playing a game where he needs to complete a challenge in the amount of time it takes his neighbors to stop f***ing. So I guess you could call this a concept YouTube channel, which I think is great. Because when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Or in this guy's case, wall s'mores? I gotta get all eight of these in order to win the challenge. Three. Last long little fella. Eight. Yes. And that's not the only thing he does. He masturbates. No, there are, no, there are videos of this guy bobbing for lemons, blowing up balloons, making origami, and really doing everything other than having sex with a girl himself. Oh, oh. So uh, what kind of microphone do you recommend if you're trying to listen to your neighbors have sex through a thin wall? I have bought the new patented Sexo Soundo Supreme. Creepy? Yeah, definitely. But you gotta love this guy's ingenuity. So if you have a problem that you can't solve, like, oh, I don't know, your neighbors next door butt each other, then you can be creative and turn it into something like this guy did. Or you can go next door and throw Greek yogurt in their face. But you know what always loves a shot of yogurt to the face? The comment question of the day, which comes from a couple of guys named BAM, and they said, Hi, Ray, my name's Tech Dorian. My comment question of the day is, how do you fight? So, how do you fight? Leave your interesting or creative responses in the comments section below. Or on Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus. And if you want, you can leave Google Plus a little yogurt to the face.
But thanks for watching today's episode of Equals 3, guys. I'm Ray William Johnson, and I approve this message. So tell me, guys, how big is your gun? How long do I have to hold this? Long enough. Are you good? Again, that's my face when I'm having sex. Yeah. And my thumbs, too. I'm just like, <laughs> you gotta be polite. You gotta be like, thank you. Thank you for doing that to my penis. We got a cold green, front green. coming yeah. in this region yeah. here. Is, is, <clears throat> You're gonna, you're gonna get this. Really? Butt sex? Yogurt in their face. Butt f***ing each other. Butt f***ing in the next room. Butt f***ing each other. Butt f***ing each other. Greek yogurt in their face. Butt f***ing each other. Throw Greek yogurt in their face. Yeah, um... Yeah. Please support cancer research. Thank you. Whatever comes from my heart. And my heart, it says... Motorboat! <laughs>